Hey LMS, welcome back to Buzz TV. Now let's head on over to your pledge. Good morning, Lerma Kanji. Today is day three, Wednesday, March 30th, and these are your student announcements. This is not an April Fool's joke. On Friday, Mrs. Freeman, Mrs. Stein, and our Sharp Pretzel Ambassadors will be conducting another sixth grade pretzel sale. Students must report directly to their ninth period homeroom on the day of the sale unless students are moving to band, chorus, or orchestra. Our Pretzel Ambassadors will come to your homeroom to invite pretzel buyers over to the table. This helps keep the line and hallway orderly. Thanks for being sharp. Keep the donations flying in for the human, humane society. So far, Mrs. Murray's room is in the lead with $142, followed by 88 from Mr. Verrilli's room. Please consider donating, donating to this special cause. If every Lower McCundry student donates a dollar, we will surpass our goal. Calling all current sixth and seventh graders who are interested in playing middle school football next year. This is for you. Coach Keeley will be hosting an informational meeting ninth period tomorrow in the gym side LGI. He will communicate the weightlifting schedule, hand out permission slip forms, and introduce himself. If you have any interest in learning about the program or playing next year, wait for the announcement during ninth period on Thursday and come down to meet Coach Keeley. Success team bingo for seventh grade is Friday in the gym side LGI periods eight and nine for those who signed up. Sixth graders must sign up by up by Friday for next week's bingo. There are gift card prizes. The cost is 15 zings and can be purchased in the zing store. The hive is open for seventh grade only today. Today's lunch is a pepperoni calzone and tomorrow's lunch will be a hot turkey sandwich. That's all for me. Now let's head on over to your world news. Hey LMS, it's Bailey here with your world news. Have you ever seen Harry Potter? Did you want an invisibility cloak of your own? A British company named Invisibility Shield Co. has created an invisible wall. The makers are offering a small shield, 310 millimeters by 210 millimeters, to hide everyday items for 49 pounds or 64 US dollars. Currently 25 of these shields have been developed, but more are coming. Through hard work and lots of failed attempts, the Invisibility Shield Co. has created an invisible wall. Well, what do you think about this LMS? That's all for me, now let's head on over to your weather update. Good morning, LMS. Today's weather is going to be 47 with a low of 40 and cloudy. Tomorrow, it's going to be 71 with a low of 49 and raining. That's all for weather and have a great day. Good morning, LMS. It's Chloe bringing you sports news for the day. In school sports, the softball team has an away game at four against East Hills, and the boys' volleyball team has a home game versus Easton on Thursday at four. Come and show your support for our sports teams. In Dallas, the Los Angeles Lakers were without LeBron James and Anthony Davis for Tuesday's game against the Mavericks. Jam has been dealing with a left ankle sprain since Sunday, and Davis hasn't played since February 16th when he suffered a right midfoot sprain. Entry play Tuesday, LA was clinging to a half-game lead over the number 11 San Antonio Spurs for the final spot in the Western Conference play-in tournament. Lakers coach Frank Vogel said before the game, the playoffs start for other teams when the actual regular season ends, but every game matters for us right now, so there's a playoff series elements to these final games. Vogel said both players will be re-evaluated on Thursday to determine if they can play against the Utah Jazz on Thursday night. So LMS, what do you think the outcome of this will be? That's it for me, and I'll start to Clara with your entertainment news update. Hey LMS, it's Clara with your entertainment news. 
There were a number of historic firsts as the 94th Oscar Academy Awards returned to the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood Sunday night. A big winner of the night was Coda, a coming-of-age film starring three deaf actors. It took home Best Picture, and Troy Koster became the first deaf man to win an acting Oscar. Koster's win was greeted by the audience raising their hands in a silent gesture of applause. This is an amazing journey, and I can't believe I'm here, um, Troy said. The film was also the first Best Picture Oscar for a streaming service, Apple Plus. Another big win includes Ariana DeVos, the first openly queer woman of color to take home a Best Supporting Actress. DeVos won for playing Anita in West Side Story, the same role that Rita Monero won 60 years ago. That's all from Buzz TV. Have a great day.